The Deck Network. Build a deck. Hi, welcome to the Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzilio, and we have the loose cannon. Matt Dalton, co-host here, and remember, at the Deck Network, it's all decks all the time. All right, Ted, so today's show, we're going to talk about Fairway Railings. Nice gentleman, Andrew Hickey from Fairway, Where marketing they, uh... manager of that route of Pennsylvania. He uh, contacted me and wanted to be on the Deck Network, but I have a few questions before we get going. What happened to your thumb? Well, here's the thing. As you've seen the old videos, I was in the process of building my own deck. And uh, I finished it up the last couple weeks and, um, well, there was a casualty. My left thumb. I mashed it. It hurts, man. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times. And didn't you have money riding on the fact that I was going to mash my thumb at some point? Did you win, hopefully? Some the bucks genesis on this? of this project was started about a year ago. Yep. And my question was... Can a man, now in this case we lose, use that term lightly, can a man, <laughs> Thank you for that. without any carpentry experience, build a deck? Started I, with the footings, it was a lot of digging going I on. I thought that you could do it. it. Turns out I was wrong. Yeah, but you, you it, had too much faith in me there. <laughs> the main part of the show, fairway railings with my new good friend Andrew Hickey from Fairway Company. And Andrew... Actually, put a good word in for Matt. But really, great job. Oh, yeah. awesome! Positive feedback for the loose cannon that I am. Yeah, uh, Matt. Well, I, I do appreciate that, Andrew, and I don't appreciate all the bad emails that yeah, I keep get. It a lot coming, of them coming it, in. I think they're coming from uh, Mike and maybe Mr. Big late at night. They're like, let's send in a bad email about Matt. Um, but no, we appreciate all sorts of feedback, <laughs> and I appreciate uh, you guys extending mm -hmm. uh, the Deck Network okay. contract here. Let's take a look at the video with myself and Andrew in the van. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike from the Deck Network, and we have a friend of mine, Andrew Hickey, from the Fairway Railing Company. Andrew, how are you today? I'm fantastic. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mike. If you've seen a previous version of the Deck Network, we had another company come by with a van full of railings, and Andrew must have saw it, and he said, let's do this. Uh, 2002 was our first van to be rolled Okay, off, so, so maybe they maybe they started the trend. <laughs> but, um, Andrew... Where are you located? We're located in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania, and we also have a manufacturing facility in Nebraska. Okay, Nebraska, all right. So Good. we serve the, uh, the Midwest with that facility. Okay, so we have Fairway Building Products with a beautiful van, and let's go inside and see what you have. Two, three. All right, we're at the back of the van now, and I'm just actually going to turn it over to you, Andrew, and let you do your thing. So all tell right. us what you have. Come on, let's go inside. Okay. Right here, we start off with our structural porch posts. We have a four, five, and six inch structural porch post, all available in white, tan, and khaki. We also have vinyl columns, an eight, a 10 inch, and a ten, eight inch square. And as we move further along, we have a, a new product here. It's vinyl railing with a deck board cap rail. So it's a real nice, super smooth transition railing that People like to, to call that either the uh, the drink rail or the party rail. The Beverage friendly. Yeah, you have your flat top on the top of that. And yeah, then, I see that you have some ADA rails in here. Why don't you come in? And can you see these over here? This is our ADA rail rail system. We have an inch and a half. We have white tan and khaki, and then we have a two inch just white. And then below we have our uh, deck board cap rail in khaki. We have aluminum balusters. And our landmark, and here is a section of landmark vinyl railing. This is our. We find that this year we've sold more of the round metal or aluminum balusters than we do the square balusters. If that's and, yep, that's, that's a trend exactly. that's been really going nationwide. Yeah, and man, they're really taking off too. I mean, because you see them it gives everywhere. You a sight line, you almost see right through it. So that right. really people really enjoy that one. Absolutely. Okay. And then here we have our balustrade systems. This one's our masters. And this is our Legends. The Legends is just a, a, a smidge smaller. Yeah, what's the size of this post on here? This is an 8-inch post. Okay. This is a 6-inch post. All right. And uh, if we turn to the left here. Oh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> this is our structural post mount. I mean, it gives you pretty much the most secure yeah, and you can, installation. And you, you have a, a, an adapter here to go to the larger Correct. post sleeves. Yeah, as we get further down, mm -hmm. I'll show you this. This is designed 
for our FX2 composite railing system and it really does a good job of shimming the post. Okay, it looks nice. And then we also have solutions balusters, so we offer all the metal balusters by themselves. All the different components with these little pieces on here? This yep. is what people are starting to ask for me now. We, really? If we went from the black, now people are asking for the white. Yep, we have we offer in seven different seven okay. different colors. Alright, that's good to know. And all of our this is our for our glass baluster mm -hmm. and our glass, glass baluster stair. Stair. Okay. And uh, this is our solutions aluminum railing system. We have white, bronze, and uh, black of this okay. available. You can do an over the post, post the post. I see a lot of over the post yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And uh, with an adjustable stair section, so you can rake. You can do all things. Yeah, things you, you can, can do. Yeah, sometimes on a ramp, a handicap ramp, right. for instance, the ones that have the that they're set up for either a horizontal or a stair rail, it, you almost have to tweak it somehow. Right. Whereas this, you'd be able to do it. You, you do have some, some hardware showing, but that's what you have to do with that. Right. And it's uh, we offer a fixed pitch version that's a 30 to 34 inch rake. Mm -hmm. So this is this is just slightly more than the, than the level mm -hmm. going to the adjustable stair. But then with the fixed pitch, you achieve that stair, but it's the same price as a level kit. So, this is our standard vinyl railing. Okay. This has been on the market since 1999. It's, we've just had a ton of success with the standard vinyl. Mm -hmm. And at that same time, we've had contour vinyl railing. And the contour vinyl railing is really our mainstay. Yeah, it has a little bit of a molded top on here. I see that. Yeah, people really like that graspable. I've sold some of this. Shape. I don't think I've ever seen it, but I know that I've sold it. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you can say both. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and up here is all our bracketry that we have for uh, for all of our pieces. We we can fit pretty much any installation, and that's that's what Fairway prides itself mm -hmm. on because it's any installation to meet code, and we, we pride ourselves on. Okay, so adapting. let's just talk a little bit about this for a second. You have on how it's made. Now you have um, your standard PVC rail, but from what, by looking around, I see that you also are licensed uh, for Fibrex also. Correct. Okay. In 2010, we brought out or brought to market the Fairway FX2 composite railing. Uh -huh. Now that is a, a two-piece railing system, uh, or a, a two-piece top rail system. So you have your bottom rail, mm -hmm. and all hidden fasteners, and then you have a sub-rail, and we have a, a top rail that fits on, or new for 2013, you can, we, we've designed a U-clip so you mm -hmm. can put a deck board right on top. Okay. And uh, it's a real solid installation. Well, it looks like uh, Fairway has versatility and design flexibility in mind. Absolutely. Now, okay, what do we got for lights? I see some LEDs around here. Do you have a, 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 a series of lights? Yes, we, uh, we, have, we have this cap. This is our carriage light cap. It's available in LED and solar. Mm -hmm. And uh, our LED system, if you want to hold the mic, I, I yep, brought a little sure. a showpiece mm -hmm. <laughs> for it. We, we've designed our LED system to be so easy to install that this is our railing connector box and these are our flush pins and what you do is you drill in between the baluster in the middle of the top rail sub rail just wire this up through and the grommet holds it in place and, it just and you just plug them in you don't have to do any soldering or using these silicone Nothing. wire nuts. Yep. All right, well, so, that's a great little uh, little tool you have yeah. right there. And what's nice about these is they're male, female, so you can just keep going yeah. in yeah. line, so you don't have to do a ton of wiring. All right, let's go back to this. You and then the on the uh, composite railing. You, what are these colors you have? You have a bunch of different. What do you have in colors for this composite railing? Our fairway uh, FX2 composite railing is available in white, black, and walnut. Okay, so this is what, what the what they're that, calling the walnut. All this right. is walnut, and right. uh, and we also offer all the baluster options mm -hmm. with, with a glass baluster. Well, as we always say, it's design flexibility because if you're living in a house, yeah, your house may look similar to your neighbors, but you don't want your deck to look the same, right, exactly. and so you want your deck to look something different than everybody else's on the block in the neighborhood Absolutely. in the town. Yeah. So it looks like uh, we have a uh, fairway has done ability all sorts of different options in mind because everybody likes something a little different. Right. If I had a dollar every time I said I heard someone say I'd like something a little different I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I want to just real quick speaking of different yeah. I wanted to show you this is our Grandview mm -hmm. vinyl railing so I mean you could do six, eight-foot kits of 
just a, of a gigantic glass panel? quarter inch uh, acrylic glass infill panel. Okay, so it's acrylic. Yep. Okay, yeah, because of the hurricane glass, I think you can only go a certain length on those. Right, right. So, th I mean, this is this is rated. <laughs> It's very strong, and especially we have a uh, composite baluster that actually mechanically mm -hmm. fastens into it. So, and it's amazing how well this stays clean. Yeah. I, I can't believe how well it stays clean. All right, Andrew, it looks like you've, uh, you and your friends at Fairway have certainly touched all the bases. I want to thank you for giving us a little tour, show us what you have. And thanks again, and uh, we'll hey. see you again in another episode of the Deck Network. It's my pleasure. Okay, thank right. thanks What again. did you think of that? The man in the van has a plan. That was really good, and I'm impressed how you were kind of, you were loose on your feet there, really moving around well inside that van. It was tight at times. It was difficult. It was a very bright, sunny day, so sometimes it's difficult to, you know, photographing or doing videos with uh, with some of the equipment that mm. we have. So we got a little inside of the van. I, I you know, apologize you great, if you, if, you uh, if they focused in on any uh, part, body parts that you really, really didn't want <laughs> to see. Sometimes you saw a little bit too much, but that's what we got to do yeah. to keep uh, the female viewers happy. Okay. Um, Mike, a couple things. ADA rail. I heard that. What is that? ADA is Americans with Disabilities Act. Oh, okay. It was written for codes for wheelchairs or wheelchair bound people or handicapped Handicap people. Handicap accessible ramps. So uh, that's, like that. with, that's why he showed the graspable handrails and if you, you look at a commercial building some a lot of times you see it on an older church mm. and they'll have to have a ramp to get this and it's actually it's, it's very costly but you have to have there are certain codes. You can't go more than 20 feet without a landing. Can the pitch of the ramp can't be more than one pitch of of run or down with one foot of run. So it's uh, it, there's a lot of codes on it. Those graspable handrails have they have to be at 24 inches and I don't know. I think at 32 inches or so. That's in case someone with not only a power chair or if they have a hand chair, they get up there uh, get up the ramp. So it's safe to say that if you're dealing with ADA rail, obviously it's yeah. going to meet those specifications. Yeah, well, that's what it's there for. Uh, I'll tell you, really, uh, Fairway products, you can get them at fairwaybp.com. They had a lot of great stuff here. A I'm lot of good you. stuff. They've a been around for many, many years. They have um, they told me, or I was able to see that they uh, also licensed the FiberX technology, which Timber, uh, excuse me, Trex uses, mm. and that is technology that's designed by uh, Anderson Window. Okay. So if you want something to be vinyl clad, then you go to Anderson because they've been doing it longer than anybody I've ever yeah. known doing it. It's so they've been doing it for industry. a long, long time. Good stuff. Great really product. impressed on the different uh, creativity levels. You well, know what I mean? You're not seeing a lot of cookie cutter stuff yet. That's what I'm learning. Well, that is the, that's the thing about with the, with decks is you'll drive down a road in a subdivision or tract home or whatever they call it in your part of the country. Levitt homes. And they'll, and they'll have all the houses will be the same. Somewhat the same. You know, you may have a reverse plan here and there, color, shingles, siding maybe is slightly different. But the decks, that is where a person can take their own creativity to another level. So you can design your deck, you can put the different accoutrements on it to make your deck truly custom to yourself and a, and your and a great accoutrement if you will are those uh, LED lights that we saw uh, in the van those Did things you see are those? Awesome. They, you didn't have to wire them with those silicone wire nuts you had the little thing. seems real easy to do like I'm thinking because my confidence is up right now outside of the thumb with my building skills like I could probably go out there get a couple of those LED lights and kind of retrofit them onto my deck you think that's something I can kind of do on my own maybe no help from the deck network what do you think Mike I've seen you work before Probably not. We're going to hold okay, off on the yeah, LED lights yeah. for now. Because there may be a, a power outage in the Northeast. <laughs> yeah, we don't need any more blackouts, especially due to one yeah. uh, guy working on a deck. I appreciate right. okay. your confidence in all my skills there. But thanks so much to uh, Andrew Hickey there. That, some really cool stuff coming well, out of Fairway. This is what's happened a lot. People are watching the, the show and they say, wow, how can I get on the show? So in the, we tell people how. We call, you know, contact myself at, my, at Mike at the Deck Network or Matt at the Deck Network. A lot of different brands. And it's something that you guys can take solace in the fact that if you're seeing brands featured here on the Deck Network, there's some research that goes into them. We're not just putting every Tom, Dick, and Harry on the show. These are products that we're going to kind of stand behind here. I'm not going to say endorsing them per se, but uh, if it makes it to the Deck Network, you know it's a pretty good product. Okay. Fair to say? That's that's it, and let's end it on that note. Boom. Great show today. Thanks for viewing. You were on point, Mike. You did a great job. I was all right. I'm going to yeah. say it was like a B plus average. Take care of that thumb. We're going to nurse it back to health. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Ciao for now. Bye. Peace.